Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 55 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I dehaze an image. And those of you that use Lightroom 6 will be pleased to know that you could do this in Lightroom 6. Now I do have Lightroom CC and Lightroom CC does have a dehaze tool. And to tell you the truth, I'm not a big fan of the tool. It is under the effects tab and it's at the very bottom. And the main thing I don't like about the dehaze too, it just seems to not I, it's hard to find a happy spot, I guess. As I turn it up, it starts to vignette sensor noise really gets exaggerated i'm just not a fan i just don't like it now i will say that the dehaze tool is now available in the brush and in the graduated filter for lightroom cc users and it is better there uh, with the brush tool which i probably do on this image is i would turn up the dehaze slider and i would just brush it on the image like that and let's brush it all the way to the bottom just for the heck of it Okay, so there, you know, that isn't too bad, I guess. Let's just get it good. All right, we only did half of the uh, windmills, but that's all right for the sake of argument. So what I'm going to do, I guess, for reference, I'm going to create a virtual copy. So I'm going to right-click on here, and we're going to create a virtual copy. So our virtual copy is the image with the dehaze tool applied. Now, for our original image, I'm going to delete that tool and we're going to reset it now the way i've always gotten rid of haze in an image is i go to my contrast slider to begin with and i'll turn contrast up then i brush it on just like i did with the dehaze tool like that we'll go across the bottom then after i do that is I go to the clarity slider and I add some clarity also. And then sometimes I might adjust shadows and highlights or whites and highlights a little bit like that, just to my liking, my visual liking. Now there's the original or the image with the dehaze. Now to me, that's just too dark. Now, of course, I could come in here and I could turn it down a little bit. It worked okay. But I don't think it's too much better than what I just did with the contrast and, you know, uh, clarity, slider, the shadows, whites, whatever I adjusted. I think that works just as well. And that is really how I, to this day, will adjust the uh, images that have haze in them. Tell you the truth, I don't have a lot. I guess I'm not a real fan of shooting on days that have a lot of haze. So... It really was hard for me to even find an image that I could do in this demo. So um, I use this one because it's such an extreme case. So this is mainly for you Lightroom 6 users. Don't fret. You could get rid of haze very easily. And as you could see, it really didn't take me very long. And if I wanted to play with it, I could make it look exactly like the, uh, the dehaze image you know, that I did a second ago. So that's it for this episode of Lightroom Quick Tips, how I get rid of haze in an image. And I hope that helps you folks, particularly you folks that do not have Lightroom CC. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.